Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. This time I'm going to teach you on how we are going to use or create macros in Microsoft Excel. Now when we say macros, we are dealing with full automation in Excel, okay? So it's like you can create some sort of automa automatic task for a particular format in Excel. So first thing that we are going to do is just to click on file. Let's say I have a form in here already or I already have a file in here. So I'm just going to click on file, go to options, then go to customize ribbon, then make sure that you are able to check the developer tab. Okay, so click on that one to check it and it will be displayed on this area right here later on. So click on OK and there you go. So this is the developer tab. This is where we are going to create macros in Microsoft Excel. So when we say macro, it's like you are going to record actions, okay? So you are going to record whatever you are going to do with your sheet right here. So for example, if you wish to change the color of these cells right here, you can use macros to automate it. So let me show you. First, you are going to click on record macro so that it will record all your tasks, okay? So I'm going to name this one as, let's say, turn to red, or let's say red, just like that. Then click OK. Then as of now, it's currently recording what we are going to do in here. So let's say I'm going to change the color of this one to red text. Same thing with this and this one. Now, if that's the only task that you wish to do with that particular macro, all you need to go uh, to do is just to go back to developer, then stop recording. Now, if you want to test if it is working, so let us um, put this back or change this back to black. This one. There you go. And this one as well. So this is the default, right? So if ever you are going to run macro, it will automatically change the formatting. So let's say if I'm going to click on developer, the macros are all stored in here. So I already have a couple of macros created. So I'm just going to choose this one, the red. This is what we have just created a while ago. So just click on run and automatically um, the task has been performed okay so that is how you're going to deal with macros you can also use macros for providing values so for example if I'm going to delete all the values here and I'm going to use macro to create a value so all I need to do is just to click record macro and name this one as item price be sure that you are not going to provide spaces for this one because macros uh, doesn't accept space okay as character so click on ok so i'm going to provide um prices for this let's say for this one it's around 250 120 and 250 362 and 123 just a couple of random numbers right there then stop recording okay now once i'm done with it if someone tries to accidentally delete it all i need to do is just to go back to my macro and check on uh which one was the last thing that we have done is this one item price just click run and it's going to go back same thing with formulas you can use macro for formulas okay so if ever you wish to create a formula for total amount and change you can use macro all you need to do is just a record macro now if you committed a mistake or you made a mistake in macros all you need to do is just to click in here and delete all the macros that you have created or made a mistake with so let's say if I'm going to delete this one there I have a couple of macros here okay so let me change it there so what we're going to do for the basic is 
we are going to transform the formula of total amount and change to macro okay so that is what we're going to do so let me remove all of it so as of the moment there's no formula you're not going to see anything so what we're going to do is just to compute for the total amount and the change so let's say we're going to start click on record macro i'm going to name this one as calculate as simple as that click ok there so it's starting to record everything so i'm just going to type the formula equals so the formula for the total amount will be item price multiplied by the quantity just like that i'm going to hit my enter key going to copy the formula going down same thing with this one equals so for the cash for the change it's like the, the cash tendered minus the total amount enter then copy the formula going down now what we're going to do next is we're going to stop recording and we're going to check if the macro is in there so it's here calculate okay so disregard the other two i'm just going to remove this one those are just samples now what we're going to do is let's say if you have mistakenly removed everything else and um you wish to um activate the point of sale so let's say i'm going to purchase two camping tents three for this one for this five for this six and four and you want to view the total amount all you need to do is just to click on macros and click on run so it's going to calculate or compute everything else so if you wish to provide a cash standard 1000 automatically you will see the change as well as these other stuff right here okay so that is the basic okay that is the basic in macros in excel now let's proceed with the intermediate okay so the intermediate part is like instead of going back to this area right here what we can do next is we can create a button but this time we are going to use this exercise right here so i've already created a couple of examples here so it's like if ever you want to know the total amount all you need to do is just to click on this oops i think there's something wrong with oh yeah because i've deleted all the macros a while ago so let me delete this one for you i'm just going to press uh delete key on my keyboard cut will do okay there Okay, so to create buttons that will provide macro execution in our Excel, the first thing that we are going to do is um, go in here. There is some sort of controls area. All you need to do is just to click on insert. Then you are going to choose under form controls, okay? Form controls, then choose this one. This is a button, okay? Button form control. On your version of Excel, it might um look different however all you need to do is just to search for form controls okay then by the time you're going to hover your mouse you're going to see something like this so just click on that one draw it just like that then a new window will appear so i'm just going to name this one as let's say what could be the best name okay total amount so I'm not placing any spaces in here. Okay, so that's it. Then afterwards, all you need to do is just to click on record. So we are going to record whatever the action that we are going to do in here. Okay, so click on record. Then okay. So for this one to work, we are going to change the dollar amount. Actually, I haven't created a formula yet. So this is empty for now. So all I need to do is just to press on equals then for the total amount it's like item price multiplied by the quantity there enter then scroll down there you go now if you want to rename this one you can rename it later on but first you need to stop recording there you go so if you want to rename it just right click edit text and i'm going to change this one for compute total amount 
just like that okay so we already created a macro for total amount so if ever you want to remove it or someone has accidentally removed it so if there is a purchase we already have a couple of purchases here there you go okay now if you want to get the total amount all you need to do is just to click on this one then there you go you already have the total amount okay now for the change let's say if I'm going to remove whatever is in here there it's empty same thing with this one okay let me clear that one for you I need to create a different macro for the change so click on insert again then click on button so I'm going to draw it over here then up next I'm going to name this one as change simple as that then click on record macro name is still change then click OK now it is already recording so all we need to do now is just to create a formula click in here equals to get the changes like cash standard minus the total amount enter then copy the formula going down there you go so once you're done with it click on stop recording then we can rename this one so I'm going to rename this one as compute for change or change it's okay okay whatever so we already have the computation for total amount and computation for change so if ever you're going to remove everything else okay and for this one we have the quantity so what we're going to do is first we are going to compute for the total amount click in there then we already have the total amount if you wish to provide the cash standard let's say five fifty thousand pesos there you go I'm just going to create a couple of dummy values here there if ever I'm going to click on compute change automatically it will provide you with the change so that is the basic and intermediate in creating macros in Microsoft Excel okay so I hope you have learned something and oh by the way if you wish to save this one you need to click on file save as so let's say if I'm going to save this one on my desktop be sure that you are using the macro enabled workbook okay otherwise it will not work so click on save and also another thing that you need to remember in order for you guys to open a macro enabled worksheet you need to click on file change the options then you need to click on trust center so under trust center you need to click on the trust center settings then under trust center settings click on macro settings be sure that you have enabled because by default it is in here so you need to click on enable VBA macros okay then tick the checkbox over here to trust access to VBA project object model then click on OK then you're good to go okay so I hope you have learned something for basic and advanced in macro or Excel macro programming bye for now what, 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 what?